Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Scylla Stuff and Things. Happy Friday, that's what day it is for us. We made it through our first week of school. Whew, we're, we're doing good over here. But you guys have asked for this recipe so many times because I put it on my Instagram. And so we are gonna be making crock pot crack chicken. Not my recipe, I found it on the internet, but I do add one ingredient that I haven't seen added before. So let's get cooking. The ingredients we're gonna use are chicken breast, a ranch dip pack, cream cheese, bacon, green onions, and then it's completely up to you on whether or not you wanna do this um, on a roll. We like pretzel rolls here. You can do it as a dip for a party. You will be like the person at the party. Um, so you could do chips or anything you want to do. You could do nothing with it. Some people put it over rice. It's very versatile and it's up to you on what you do. The ingredient that I like to add is cream of chicken. Um, it just gives it that more creamy flavor and it's awesome. So let's throw this in the crock pot. This is perfect for those days where you have so many things going on, but you still wanna give your family a good meal at night. First things first, you need to add your chicken into your crock pot. If you prefer chicken thighs, then you can do that. Um, I had chicken breasts, so that's what we use today. After you put the chicken in, you will just put your ranch packet over top. You are going to add your cream of chicken. We're gonna have enough for leftovers, which I love. Who doesn't love being able to cook one meal and have plenty of leftovers? for the family. After you put your cream of chicken in, you're just gonna put one block of cream cheese over the top and then let it cook for about seven to eight hours. So whatever that setting is on your crock pot, for mine that's low. Don't, don't be judging my crock pot, y'all. Now it's very, has lots of love. It has made lots of soups for teachers because I'm part of the PTA. It has a different color knob because of Abigail and the lid, the lids or the handle is broken, but it does its job. So you're just gonna, mine is low, eight hours, and we're ready to go. Later on, I will cook my bacon and my green onion and that'll be the topper. And then we'll also be using cheddar cheese, which I forgot to put out here. Okay, we'll have shredded cheddar cheese as well. Hey guys, so it's been like seven or eight hours now. We have a costume change because I have another event tonight, but I want to show you, it smells amazing. Um, you have to get these little shredders. I will link it down below and you're just going to take it and shred the chicken and look how it just comes apart because it's just been sitting here getting amazing all day long. So I forgot to talk about the cheddar cheese, but you do want to add some shredded cheddar cheese again to your liking however much you want, there's no rules. You're just gonna put it in there and then you'll wanna take a spoon and kind of mix it around to get it all through your chicken and it's gonna make it ooey gooey. It's official terms, ooey gooey. The time has come, it's ready to go. I went ahead and cut these little pretzel rolls in half, so we'll put that and then we'll take some chicken like that go back over, put on some of our freshly cooked crumbled bacon. Now again, if you're doing this as a dip, you're just gonna put this right on top. You could put it in like a baking dish or you could leave it in the crock pot and then put it on top. We'll put some green onion and then we'll put a little more cheddar cheese on top because you can never have too much cheese, right? Like that. And you have a crock pot cracked chicken pretzel bread sandwich. How yummy does that look? If you're watching your carbs, just leave the bread out. And I also made a really nice salad to go with ours. So you can do whatever you want. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Comment down below, let me know, are you gonna make this? Are you gonna change anything up? And we will see you next time. Bye guys.